Good day and welcome to the arena. This is of course our weekly sports show where we bring you highlights of sporting events that took place at home over the weekend. Now we start today's show with some athletics news. Frida Ithete and Andre Latif were the stars over the weekend at the Commerce Region Championships that took place in Bunduk. Now, Ithete broke the women's triple jump record with a new distance of 11,87 meters, while Retief won the men's 400 meters in a great time of 46,91 seconds. My colleague Hager Schutz was there on Saturday to speak to Retief after his match. Let's take a look at that. It was a good race. Uh, it's quite hot today, but the moment we, woke, we load ourselves on the blocks, the sun, uh, cloud came in front of the sun, the wind calmed down. So the, the setting for this, for the specific 400 meter race, our heat was actually quite perfect. Um, I asked God to give me the strength and to help us all throughout the race. And I'm very happy with the race. It went good. Um, I start off slow, but that was my aim. It was, I know I'm not uh, fit enough to run the 400 meters full. So I started off slower and then they had the 200 meter finals. I started sprinting full speed to catch up and try and take them past. And it, it, the plan ended up working perfectly. Fantastic. And that broke your PB by more than a second. Did you expect such a first time? Uh, to be honest, no. I was aiming to get a better time, but I was not expecting a time like that. And I was definitely not expecting to come first. But it was, it was really something for me this entire experience. I'm very glad of today. Great, Andre, and uh, do you think you can com uh, qualify for the Commonwealth Games now? <coughs> uh, that is our aim, that is our aim. Uh, this time wasn't good enough, but we are still on the training plan and stuff. And me and my coach, Leoni Lubbe, uh, Leoni van Rijnsberg, is aiming to qualify by nationals. I'm gonna aim for that time to qualify for the Commonwealth. Right, and um, the national record held by Daniel Haitembu, that's been held for many years, 46-1-4, you think you can beat that? That is my aim, that is my aim, I'm definitely aiming to get a 46 flat or below a 46 before the end of this year, so I'm definitely aiming for that, especially at Nationals, I want to break that time. Now, another athlete that shown at the Commerce Championships was Nandi Vaz, who won both the women's 200 meters and 400 meters events. She did speak to Helga Schutz after a 400 meter race. So let's hear how that conversation went down. It was challenging, but I'm happy with my performance. I'm happy with my time. It's very close to my personal best, so there's progress. Right, what was your time? Uh, 57.93. And your PB? 50, 57.6. Fantastic. So, Nandi, tell us, what are you aiming for still this season? Uh, I'm aiming for a personal best in the four and as well as the 200. I'm very excited about the 200 also. Right, and I understand you're going to the United States with Christine Mboma and, and Beatrice Masilingi. Yes. Tell us about that. Well, we are going to the States for another relay competition it's as in preparation for the upcoming bigger competitions like Commonwealth. So we are also hoping to break the national record for the second time again in the 4x100. You think you can do it? Yes, definitely. We've been working very hard. Okay, good luck. Thank you. Now, another athlete who has been making waves recently is the 17-year-old Wayne Silver who already broke the senior woman shot put twice this year. Now, on Saturday, she won both the shot put and discus events and spoke to Helga Schutz after that. Let's take a look. Um, so, well, at the beginning of the year, our first leg where shot could, could compete, which was our second leg here in Ventuk, I broke the shot put record and I improved it to uh, 14, 8, 9 meters, which I was really happy with. And then a few weeks after that, I went to the Tech Top Team competition in South Africa with my school, Ventuk Gymnasium. And there I obtained the first place and pushed the record further to a 15 2 4. That's fantastic. And now you've qualified for the Junior World Champs? Yes. Uh, I've qualified officially for the Junior World Champs, which would be in Colombia in August. So I'm really looking forward to that. Great. And now here at this event today, you also won the discus. 
So how's your form in the discus? My form in the discus is getting there. I'm improving bit by bit, so I'm happy with where, I'm, where I am at the moment. I would like to qualify in the discus as well, so I'm chasing that qualifying distance, but I'm happy with where I'm at right now. Right, and Tuana, you're still very young. Do so you think the record can still be broken a lot? I think I can still... I, I think I can still throw it for a few years to come, so I hope I can still go it a few times. Now we're still on some athletics news. Namibia's 2016 Paralympic gold medalist Anania Shikongo is still going strong. He won the men's T1100 meters and 400 meter double at the Commerce Championships on Saturday. Now I did speak to my colleague Hugo Schitz after his 400 meter race, so let's see how that conversation went down. Ah, no, this race it was very, very uh, good competition and also in my first time to find a tough um, competition from a T11 in Namibia like this. So I can see my competitors and most of the T11 now they are upcoming. They are really getting good and then I can see I need more work to do so that I can dominate and then I can run a winning uh, easily. But for now, really the competition is starting getting tough. Right. And Ananias, tell us what is lying ahead for you. What I understand you're going to the South African champs. Yes, uh, um, this coming weekend, well, I'm going to South Africa, uh, SAB, SA, uh, uh, to attack competition for disabled people. So I'm getting ready for the 100 and 400 meter. So I can see, like, this is my good preparation. I just want to improve my time in South Africa because uh, I heard like the, 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 the track that we are going to use there is a fast track, so I'm going to correct all the mistakes and then I knew I was going to set up a good time. Right, and then it's Commonwealth Games later. Have you qualified for that? Yes, I do qualify for the Commonwealth uh, in 100 meters, so uh, I'm going to just to take part in 100 meters, so this is uh, enough time for me to, to improve and to, so that I can go try all my best to win a medal from a Commonwealth game. Great, well, good luck. Thanks very much. Chicago had to pull out all the stops to beat the upcoming Chris Kinder in both the 100 meters and 400 meters. So let's hear what Kinder had to say after his 400 meter race. I oh, know the race uh, so far it was okay. Uh, we're just working on and uh, taking, looking forward to the games in Dubai. So, also on that side, I'll be doing the 100 and the 400. And I'm looking up later today for the 100 meter as well, because it was quite close to beat him. So I believe the 100 meter, it will be very easy for me. Right, Chris, and you're a young upcoming uh, athlete. Um, Ananias, um, he's, you haven't beaten him yet, have you? Uh, no, not yet. But do you think you're going to beat him soon or what? Yes, yes, uh, yes, uh, soon. Okay. Yeah. And has Ananias been an inspiration for you? Yes, uh, a very big, very big one. He usually even calls me uh, and asks me, you know, how did the training go? So he's, it's a very big role model for me. I look up to him and I just want to be a great sportsman like him one day as well. Great. And tell us a bit about your trip to Dubai. Um, yeah, I will be leaving on Wednesday. Uh, the competition will be, I think, on the, on the Saturday. That will be the 19th. Uh, yeah. On the ah no, to be on the 18th, on Saturday. So, looking forward to it. Just want the Namibian nation to keep me in their prayers, and want to thank the Almighty, which is always there for me in every step of my race. Thank you. We now shift our focus onto some hockey news. The Bang Vinduk Indoor Hockey League continued with some matches at the Wanderers Court in Vinduk on Saturday. Now in the Men's Premier League, the School of Excellence Hockey Club drew 2-2 against Wanderers on Friday before beating DTS 2-1 on Saturday. He spoke to their coach, Edwin Handura, after their victory against DTS. So let's hear what he had to say. Well, I think the score could have been maybe five or six. Like last night also against one race, we drew 2-2, we just wasted. The guys are wasting, they don't stick to the plan. So they're getting over eager and then they make too many mistakes. Instead of playing as a team, they want to dribble individually and in the end they don't get the glory. So I think if we can practice more, work more on a passing game, let the ball do the work, we will score more goals. Right, so, um, but your first win tonight, but um, last night you say, I hear you missed a few penalties as well. Yeah, we had two penalty strokes 
that uh, two of my players could not score, Baggio and Diarron in particular. The uh, Saints give me also two penalty strokes, so it tells me I must spend more time on penalty strokes. We have a good team, we can attack well, we are full of energy, the players are fit, but the finishing off is where the problem is. Even at the short corners, we scored maybe, like tonight we scored one short corner, where we had maybe six or seven. So it tells you we have to spend more time in practicing penalty corners. Right, and you still got a very young team. Yeah. But do you think you can uh, give the big guys a run for their money yet? Yeah, I mean, last year we finished, it was our first year in the indoor league, Premier, we finished fourth. So our aim this year is to beat DTS and Venue Call Boys because they finished second and third respectively, and Saints is still the top team. So that's our aim. So we beat DTS, so it, we have a next game we play Venue Call Boys. We also are working hard to try and beat them as well. So then we can finish in the top two. Our aim this year is to go for top two. Now, in some swimming news, the Pupkowitz Foundation Schools Gala took place over the weekend with St. Paul's College winning the gala while DHPS came second and Vindu Gymnasium third. Now, we spoke to one of the top swimmers at the gala, Reza Vesterdain, who broke Monica Dahl's long-standing goals 16 and under 50 meter butterfly record. Let's take a look at that. Um, I was actually quite nervous for the race and um, on the blog I was a little bit shaky and all so I, I really wasn't expecting to break the record but I looked at the record before the time and spoke to my mom and she was like yes it's definitely possible so in the race I put my head down and focused on my fast stroke rate and then I broke the record. Fantastic and how do you feel about that? I'm actually really excited because it's my first individual record. Great. And Riza, you also did very well at the national championships, winning the junior Victrix Ludorum. So how did you feel about that? Um, I was actually really excited because I've never won a trophy until this long course national. So I was very happy about that. Great. And what's coming up for the rest of the season for you? Um, I'm going in, in two weeks, I'm going to swim in Durban for SARJ, so it's regionals. And uh, at that competition, I want to get 600 pinna points so that I can go to uh, Junior Worlds and the Bia. Fantastic. And it's interesting, you're competing here at the school Scala, but you're actually doing homeschooling. So tell us about that. Do you prefer that? Yes. Um, last year, I was in Vintic High School. But that didn't really work with my swimming schedule and all. I was always tired and results weren't really that great. So we decided to do online school. And your marks are still good? Yes, they're actually better than last year. Great, well done. Thank you. Now, moving on, during an interview with Desert Radio last week, the Chief Administrator of the Namibia Sports Commission, Freddie Muir, said that the commission is doing well compared to other sports commission in the region. The number of sports scores that they want to learn from, mm. you find we are giving them number two of sports scores. They are only giving us around about six sports scores because they could see. They looked about how our rugby, mm -hmm. how is our cricket, how is our hockey. You know, when they look there, they say, you guys you are doing very good in that area. When it comes to athletics, we are at par, but they are very good in 400 meters. Mm -hmm. That's what we want to learn from. But they tell us, sprinters, we are now on top. Mm -hmm. That's why when you look at it, that is something. Zambia, they also been approaching us. They want to take from us. They can say also you, we, that we are well organized in terms of how we do our things. Mm -hmm. They looked about the aspect of policies. You know, they were very impressed, especially when it comes to the reward policy. You know, they said that is something the state of the art in terms of the reward policy that was actually adopted and approved by cabinet. You know, those are many things that they learned from us. We also learn a lot from them. So I may say we are very much happy that we are really moving. And we are making a difference within the country, and we also make a difference within the, the region. Now, amid reports of maladministration at the commission during the same interview, we are urged Namibians to support the commission as they remain focused on their mandate. Sport, it is an industry that we must all cherish. It is an industry that we must be very much proud of, and we request our members, that for whatever information you get, first come and verify with us and be able to know why we do so. At many times we are being accused for things that are not right, 
but we remain steadfast and we focus. That's why you always see at the commission, you can talk anything about negative. We don't comment about what you talk because we want to remain focused and we move forward. And we know the trade and we know the business. Support the sport industry. Please, you are free to advise us, but support this industry and we remain, you know, focused and to deliver to our mandate. Well, that concludes today's episode of The Arena. Thank you so much for joining us. We do hope you enjoyed it. And of course, that you do have a wonderful Monday ahead. And of course, a blessed and productive week moving forward from myself, John Colin, I mean, and everyone else in studio. It's cheers.